Hi, and welcome to Eric's Correspondence Corner. I want to kick it off by recognizing National Small Business Week. Since I've been elected to Congress, I visited well over 364 different businesses and companies, and most of them are small business, the engine of our economy. I'm committed to making sure we've got an environment so our small businesses can continue to grow and thrive. Make sure you take the time to visit a small business yourself. We're going to take our questions, though. First hearing from Reed in Brooklyn Park, who wrote in about trade and the protection of intellectual property, and he emailed in saying, Dear Representative Paulson, I read about India, Japan, and China's broad range of trade violations, including currency manipulation and theft of intellectual property. These activities by foreign nations are hampering our efforts to increase U.S. exports and grow the economy here at home. As someone who works at an IP heavy tech company, I'm worried our nation will lose its competitive edge as other countries continue to take our ideas without recourse. What is Congress doing to combat this? Thank you, Reid. Well, first of all, thanks for that great question, Reid. One thing I did this week is I sent a letter to the President asking him to ensure that Secretary of State John Kerry in the upcoming strategic U.S. Strategic India Dialogue Talks raises the fact that India, the government of India, has been violating U.S. intellectual property rights. Recently, India has been invalidating U.S. patents, they've been putting more barriers up to U.S. products, and they've also been enforcing requirements to make sure that Indian companies only use their domestic products as a part of their manufacturing process. This is in not only hurting American companies and Minnesota companies and biopharmaceuticals and agriculture, it's also hurting high-tech companies. We have well over 160 members that signed this letter to the President on a bipartisan basis to address this important issue. I also got a call this week from Miria in Champlin, and she called in asking if I was planning on reintroducing my bill to make it easier for homebound seniors to purchase food with their SNAP benefits. Actually, this week I did reintroduce that legislation along with my colleague, Betty McCollum from Minnesota, to make sure that seniors that are homebound and unable to get to the grocery store will be able to use their own SNAP benefits, that's the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. They can use those benefits to make sure that they can receive medicines and foods. Right now in Minnesota, we've got great nonprofit organizations like Store to Door that I've been with in Bloomington that make these deliveries to these seniors. But law has not been updated in a while. The legislation that I have authored updates the current law so that these nonprofits will be able to use those SNAP benefits and make sure that the medicines and food that the seniors need will actually get delivered directly to them at home. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to join this week on the Correspondence Corner. Be sure to send in your question or call in or write. You can visit my website at paulson.house.gov or you can look me up on Facebook or Twitter.